No. Oh. This world today, I don't know. I grew up in the 80s during the Cold War, and I can't say that I've ever seen things as uh, volatile as they are now. And I'm not a prepper, but I'm learning to be one. Um, and I think it's just better to be safe and prepared. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, I guess. And uh, one of the things that I've been uh, worried about, I work quite a few miles away from home. And um, home is my citadel, right? This is where I'm safe. And if something were to happen, whatever that be, um, and you really just don't know with the way things are now in Israel and China, Russia relations. I mean, we, we just don't know, right? Natural disasters even. Um, there could be, for some reason, I'm, I wouldn't be able to drive home whether that's my car doesn't work due to some EMP blast, right? Or the interstates are clogged up, traffic jam, because people are trying to get away and they're all on the interstate at one time. I mean, we can see that now with as, as much traffic when there's an accident on the road, right? Sometimes you sit in, in traffic for hours, but it, this could be something that would be more than that, be days, right? And you need to get home. So how are you gonna get home? Well, I'd have to walk. And so what I've got now is a, get home bag and I just thought I'd share my get home bag with you all so you can see what I've got so hat poncho in case it rains I've got my protection this is uh my 40 um and you all are gonna make fun of me for having a Sigma uh, knockoff Glock, but it's mine and it works. Along with the 40, it's got a mag in it. I've got a mag carrier with three loaded mags here, so I've got quite a few rounds. Sweatshirt, it's natural, neutral colored, so you can conceal if need be. Bandolier with a box of shells for my shotgun. Toboggan, face concealment. Water straw can filter 1,100 gallons of water. You just simply put this down into the creek or pond and you suck through it. Or you can attach a water bottle to the end and use gravity to filter the water. Extra t-shirt. Emergency food. This is three days worth of food for one person. 3,600 calories per bar last five years. Medical bag has a little bit of everything in it. Uh, get these off Amazon for roughly 20 bucks. Um, it's even got something, I think there's an emergency blanket in here, uh, scissors, there's a little flashlight, um, one of those uh, chain saws that you could, uh, string saws that you could cut wood with. Um, several things in there like that. I think there's a knife. Paracord. Extra socks. Paracord bracelet. It has a ferro rod and a striker here if you need to start fire, and a compass. Tracker knife. A 
sling sling pouch that I'll keep. Easy access to my pocket knife. Small flashlight. My wallet, easy access. My cell phone, all in this bag. And then something that may be not necessary, but you just never know, right? A Geiger counter or a dosimeter tells you about the, your radiation levels in the area and how much exposure you've had to radiation. And then on the outside of my bag, Machete also has a saw blade on the back. Should be enough in here to get me home in relative comfort. Like I say, a change of clothes, a uh, t-shirt, I got a sweatshirt, change of socks. You get your feet wet and you're able to put dry socks on, that, that makes a world of difference. So again, I'm not a prepper but I, I wanna be ready in case that time comes. And uh, I feel like I've got what I need to get home. And once I'm at home, we'll be all good. Good luck.